Hello everybody, my name is Gunky Brand and oh, <laughs> everyone, my name is Gunky Brand. This one's truly to be super. Fortnite Mares 2023 might just be one of the best Fortnite Mares ever. Sure if it's no new POIs, like season three, I mean chapter three, like it was like Grim Gables. But no, it's whatever, it's whatever. We don't need new POIs for this to be good. All we need is some fat, juicy lore. And I got, and I feel like my Fortnite theory has just become even more backed up. So here's what I'm thinking. My the theory was, okay. For chapter five, is going to be a throwback season. Or, or it's gonna be a throwback chapter where ev like the best part of every single um chapter before it would be combined into one map and it would just be like a love letter to all the Fortnite fans. And guess what appeared on this uh, on the map this update? Yep, chapter one stuff. Oh my, you know, oh like, oh like, whoa. Do you not know what that means for the community? And more importantly, me? That means everything. That That is everything. Think, think about it. My theory would be right. My theory. My theory. Colin's theory. Colin's theory would be right. It'd be correct. That is so huge for me. Because, like... I'm, 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 I'm what, what I would, I'm what people like to say call an underground YouTuber, which that's okay. I'm flying with that. But the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, I have been so adamant about this theory for like two seasons now. And I've oh, and when I started my platform, I felt like now was the best time to really get in depth and really and really break down my Fortnite theory that Chapter Five will be a throwback ch up chapter, and this has proved it with the live event certainly being the island imploding on itself. Because if if I'm not right, then I think. If it's not, if I'm not right about, like, Chapter 5 being a throwback season of every chapter, Chapter 5 is gonna be Chapter 1. Which is gonna be super disappointing, since Chapter 1 isn't my favorite chapter. It's not even close. It's probably in last place. But, it doesn't matter. Because, I would be right... In the fact that chapter 5 was a throwback chapter. And that would in turn boost my ego. A bigger ego, a bigger platform. A bigger platform, more of a chance to get cancelled. So, with all that, I was really thinking. What can I do in this YouTube video to really add on to my Fortnite theory? And I was thinking, I was thinking hard. Hmm, hmm, what could really add on to this? And I was like, obviously, it, it was right in front of me. How will the live event go? I only explained in that video, the, the prequel to this one, that, <laughs> that, I, that the island was gonna implode. Super vague, super like, like what? Like, what does that mean? What do you mean the island's gonna implode? Like, but I finally, I can finally tell you. So I think Kato Forn's time machine is gonna break. But I feel like as it's breaking, it's gonna go, like, it's gonna be like fuse with the zero point. And like the zero point, as it's fusing, it's gonna gain like time powers. And the time, and like the time powers are gonna be able to like bring parts of every single chapter but here's the thing and here's what i don't want to happen i don't want it to be like chapter four where it didn't like it, there was no cohesion to it there was like grass and then there was snow and then there was desert well no desert and then there was like fall biome and then there was japan biome there was jungle and then like 
normal city, it was really uncohesive. Like, it, there, there wasn't even blending. It was just cracks. Or, like, for, like, freaking the, the, the jungle, it was... It was just like, it was like, it was like Dusty Depot. It, it was just a hole in the ground. So what I really feel is hap what I really want to happen is that, like, it's more cohesive. It, like, like, I can't explain it. Like, it actually blends in together. There's, like, a little patch of snow, and, like, patches of snow there, and, like, it blends in. The got to the grass, and then the desert. Please, for the love of God, have there be a desert. You know, you know, you, you want to know what? I was in chapter, I, I, when I logged into chapter 4, 12 a.m., day, day of, wait no, yeah, 12 a.m., 12 a.m., day of, and I saw that there was no desert. <laughs> that brought me to tears, and I, and I can just say that... <laughs> That the desert is a key part of the Fortnite map. Personally, it's not a good map if there's no desert. And that's why Chapter 4 is not the best chapter ever. Because it had no desert. No desert. There was no fun desert movements. Like, nothing blends with the desert. So people were easy to shoot. And also, like, the civilizations there. How has there not been a, like, a, mod, like a mega city like thing submerged in the desert that that's making money like, like i don't get it that literally bring like 20 people there it could be like sunken tilted towers there's no ocean like i don't want a coral castle i want like chapter two season two's life event where there was like this a wall of water and you could swim around. i want like i want that but that's not gonna happen since at least I don't want that to happen. I want, like, my friend I fear to be right. That, like, it's all gonna blow together and that's never existed. But I want, if there is a chapter 6, I want for chapter 6 to be post-apocalyptic. Post-apocalyptic. Say, say that five times fast. Like, honestly, that, that would literally be, like, that would make this game number one. Okay, that's not gonna make this game number one. By the time chapter 6 comes out, hopefully, it'll be 2020, like, 2026? 2027, I want to say? Okay, a two-year, a two-year long, no, not even two years, a, a three-year long chapter? I'm pretty sure that's happened before. But anyways, unimportant, unimportant, unimportant. What is important is that big stuff happened in this, in, in this everything. Like, this is literally everything, guys. Quite, I'm not even joshing. This is everything. Like, this Fort Nightmares did more than last seasons. Well, last chapters. And not really. There was, like, I, I, there was clearly more work. Well, yeah, there was clearly more work. With last chapters, like, there was a whole POI, there was several, several different quests, there was no free skins, which every, every holiday event should, we should be getting free skins. Um, free skin grind, I'm like Tifu, but a little bit better, don't tell anybody that. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. This Fort Nightmares has gotten me more hyped than I was for Fracture. Okay, okay, I know that's crazy. Fracture was a live event. But, Fracture was not that good. It was actually pretty terrible. It was one of the, it was one of the worst gaming experiences I've ever had. Okay, anyways, I have to wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, it was Colin Cooper. This was truly, this has truly been super. Later.